Hey, welcome back, everyone. It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So for those of you who are still thinking about GeForce Now and or you haven't jumped into GeForce Now, I think now is the time to join in. Now is the time to reserve your spot for RTX 5080. This is their Blackwell RTX NVIDIA chipset that, uh, as you all know, has been proven worthy of its price tag. Uh, it runs games, especially on a deep learning super sampling 4.0 flawlessly with a frame generation turned on. Uh, you'll be experiencing performances that you'll never be able to achieve on a console ever, honestly. With a 244 frames per second, 244 hertz, uh, a G Sync, uh, zero response time, uh, zero latency, uh, you will have the best of the best and on top of that you can also connect it to your ultra wide screen so if you're somebody who's playing a, a lot of uh you know halo infinite or call of duty or uh PUBG, g fortnite man or even a battlefield 2042 i'm pretty sure battlefield 6 will be available in the near future on geforce now as well so you'll be rocking and rolling uh with the best possible performance uh, so GeForce now right now currently has close to or actually not even close to actually exactly 2,000 uh, games available now keep in mind these games are not the games that are accessible uh, right out of the gate you know I, I think it's very important that I emphasize uh, for people who are not familiar with GeForce now what GeForce now is it's a computer that it's a very powerful computer right now. They have 4080, which is their ultimate tier, which is pretty darn good. 4080 is pretty good. Um, but soon enough, in September, they will have 5080, which is coming. Uh, so what they're basically doing, they're leasing you a, a very powerful high-end PC with a very powerful high-end GPU, okay? And thus far, giving you the ability to play these games in the best possible way uh, that you would never be able to do on a console. This is like super high end. Uh, you know, it makes PS5 Pro look like a uh, like a joke. Honestly, no offense. So, and the beauty about this is, is there is no contract. You don't have to buy any expensive equipment. You don't need to have a you know super high end PC with you. You just need a. Um, a good internet you know that will be able to meet the standards of the servers and the nvidia geforce now and you rocking and rolling dude uh, honestly this is a great option like i always talked about cloud gaming as a is a great alternative and i love listen i love my consoles i love my pcs but i also love choices i love having a choice where I can choose where I, where I want to play, how I want to play, you know. Uh, another benefit of having an NVIDIA GeForce is the fact that it saves your electrical bill because building these high-end PCs with these super coolings and these, you know, uh, high-powered uh, power supply uh, motherboards, they're super expensive and these uh, juggernaut of GPUs that needs to be cooled and, and CPUs, uh, all that stuff, man, it, you know, it, 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 it drinks a lot of electricity from your bill, especially when you uh, turn on that PC, you know what I mean? And it's also, you know, you're not, you don't have to use your own PC, you don't have to, you know what I mean, uh, overheat, overheat your own PC while playing these games. You can enjoy nice and quiet silence, no noise, no fans, no nothing running uh you can enjoy these games at the blazing fast speed so i think that's one of the advantages of the of the geforce now now there are some disadvantages which i have mentioned one of the disadvantages of the geforce now is the fact that you have to have these subscriptions right you will be prompted for ea play uh pro account you will be prompted for ubisoft plus account you will be prompted for a steam account you will be prompted for, um, let me see, I think I mentioned Ubisoft, I mentioned EA Play Pro, 
you will be prompted for uh, other accounts out there. Uh, they're necessary for you to link up. Uh, Game Pass, of course. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you will be prompted to, to link those accounts. But once you link those accounts, you you once in a while have to just acknowledge it. It's a small little thing you got to do. It could be a little bit annoying that you have to constantly get the code and, and verify that it's you. But the reason they're doing that is to make sure you're not being hacked, you know, to make sure that it's you. It's, it's a security precaution, uh, just so that way you can enjoy. So let's talk about the, uh, you know, because I have to uh, acknowledge, you know, the negative and the positive. You know, no matter what I, no matter what I'm reviewing, I never try to shill for anything. I always try to tell you, well, here's some positives. Well, there's also some negatives, and the negatives, which are I just mentioned, you have to have subscription of. Uh, subscription to play some of these games which you'll have to have an additional subscription to play some of these games unless you own them and you and you bought them so you have to have these games physically owned in order you in order for you to play them so one of the negatives is that these games are not available out of the gate if these games were available out of the gate and you didn't need to own these games you didn't need to have a subscription uh, from these various different third-party you know uh, companies and websites well guess what uh I mean various different platforms well then that would be amazing but that's not the case and i think that's on the downside that's the one of the caveats where it kind of sucks but the the flip side to that caveat is or for the lack of a better term the flip side to that coin is you get a very powerful pc that can handle all of these games at the very uh, amazing speed and performance, and uh, I think it's it's great to have this option. So, look, uh, RTX 5080, uh, it's ready for massive upgrades starting this September. Uh, GeForce RTX 5080 class GPU are joining the Ultimate fleet, delivering a major performance jump for Ultimate members that feel just like gaming on a high-end PC. So if you become a Ultimate member today, Today's the August 26th, 2025. Come September, you will be ready. You will be automatically upgraded. So that's great. Or you will be notified on how to upgrade. They will send you an email. Uh, experience some amazing performance enhancements like two to eight times the frame rates of the new cinematic quality streaming mode that amps up the graphic fidelity DLSS4. DLSS4, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a game changer. That, that can crank resolution and frame rate to the next level up to 5K. We're talking 5K, 120 FPS, man. That's a very amazing, stunning resolution of 5K, 120 FPS. I mean, can your consoles do that? Of course not. Can they do it at 120 FPS? No. <laughs> Their uh, consoles are struggling to even get 4K 60 and they still have to use PS5 Pro uh, certain tricks to, to get that 120 FPS. The only way consoles can do 120 refresh rate is by 1440p. So the consoles, you have to do it for PlayStation 6, you know, PlayStation 6, you know. Uh, and we'll see what the PlayStation 6 can do. So uh, to play a new cloud, a new way, multiply your library with over 2,500 more Steam games. So they have over 2,500 games. And this is just the beginning. They will have 4,500 games uh, uh, by the end of this year. So this is just the beginning. So they already have 2,500. And 2,500 games, that's, that's, that's a pretty good number of games for you to play. That's pretty big, hefty library of games, 2,500. But by the end of this year, you're looking at 4,500, and they're growing. I think by the end of next year, you're probably looking at like 10,000, uh, you know, 10,000 uh, games. I'm pretty sure by the end of next year, they'll have like 10,000. Because now they're making it easier for you to add more games, to play more games on the cloud. So, and with a 5080, I'm, I'm probably guessing by the end of next year, or let's say beginning or or first quarter of uh 2027 first qu let's be realistic first quarter of 2027 they'll have like 10,000 games and with a uh, 10,000 games available at your disposal to play 
yeah, I mean, NVIDIA is certainly, uh, GeForce Now, uh, it's definitely the place to be. But again, there is a caveat. Like I said, you do have to have those games in order to play them. You know, you do have to own the subscription services of these other platforms in order for you to play them or own them. Uh, so let's look at this video really quick, uh, if you guys don't mind. Fifty eighty, there it is. Five K, hundred twenty FPS. Ninety FPS on a Steam Deck. Wow. Now look at that. Look at all these games. Even the Outer Worlds, you can play the Outer Worlds too, man. And Borderlands 4. That's pretty amazing, dude. Uh, wow. There's the Outer Worlds 2. More AAA titles. 90 FPS on... Dude, 90 FPS on the Steam Deck. You know how amazing that's going to look on your Steam Deck, bro? To be able to play these games on your Steam Deck with 90 FPS, 90 frames per second. I mean, come on. Wow. Wow. Play at uh, 4K 120 FPS. Wow. Up to 5K 120 FPS. This is Doom the Dark Ages. Yeah, uh, this is amazing, dude. Um, yeah, uh, can't, can't complain here. Really. It's it's hard to complain. You know, really. So 5080, man, it, it's coming and it's looking better than ever. And uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, just a short little video I wanted to make on NVIDIA. So now's the good time to upgrade. Now's a good time to reserve your spot because you will have a difficult time come September. I'm telling you right now, you will not be able to get in. Uh, in September so now's the time to reserve your spot now's the time to jump in because if you miss the spot right now then that's it uh, you will have a very difficult time getting in on in September so reserve your spot right now today's August 26th 2025 reserve your spot right now so you can be ready for uh, September uh, and you'll be have you will have that spot ready in September uh, they'll send you the uh, information on how to get that spot and all that. I think it'll be automatically upgraded to you because you're already part of the Ultimate <laughs> membership. Uh, it's just an upgrade. So they, they didn't say nothing about, oh, this is a different tier. So I just want to clarify this because people are confused. So let me just kind of like um, make that, let me unconfuse the confusion. All right. So a lot of you are confused, been sending me emails. Well, what about is there like a is there like a new tier that I have to be part of a new tier for 5080? No. Uh, you don't have to sign up for any new tier. The only highest tier that they have is the ultimate. So the ultimate's getting a facelift and it's getting an upgrade. So the facelift and upgrade is 5080. So all you have to do right now today is upgrade to the ultimate and uh once september comes here whatever the date in september is once the uh they start rolling out the updates for 5080 you will be ready you won't have to do anything when you wake up the next day oh someday in september oh look at that 5080 
I'm sure there will be an update for you to update uh, the software and then you'll restart software and then you'll have a 5080 ready for you. But now you need to sign up for the ultimate tier, which is 4080, and then you'll have the upgrade ready for you with a 5080. 5080, man, you're playing the best of the best. Uh, that's it. I mean, you're a high-end PC right there. I mean, we're talking 5080, man. We're not talking like like 3060 or 3070. Or, we're talking 5080, man. Uh, so you'll be rocking and rolling, dude. You're out there with a high-end uh, PC master race. Yeah, you could call yourself a PC master race with a 5080. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So anyway, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Um, what do you think? Okay. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time for watching this video. Thank you.